On 23rd February 2008, Spirit of Kansas, a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber of the United States Air Force, crashed on the runway moments after takeoff from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. Before we see into the crash details, let's get to know B-2 Spirit bomber a little more. It's July 17, 2019, marked 30 years since the B-2 Spirit first took to the skies and became America's primary long-range strike bomber. The B-2, a Northrop Grumman engineering marvel and legendary aircraft, spelled the quantum leap for technology and American air superiority. Even today, B-2 continues to perform and inspire and pave the way forward. The US Air Force's B-2 stealth bomber is a key component of the nation's long-range strike arsenal and one of the most survivable aircrafts in the world. Its unique stealth characteristics allow it to penetrate the most sophisticated enemy defenses. This stealth bomber unit costs $737 million. A key reason for this cost is the provision of air-conditioned hangars large enough for the bomber's 172 feet wingspan, which are needed to maintain the aircraft's stealth properties, particularly its low observable stealth skins. Maintenance costs are about 3.4 million a month for each aircraft. The 1,479 horsepower Chiron is the fastest production car on the planet. Bugatti Chiron's price is $3 million, so if you can imagine you could buy 245 Chirons and still you'd have a lot of money left. Now, let's get to the crash. Can you imagine how much this crash costs? After all, it's the most expensive aircraft ever made. The accident marked the first operational loss of a B-2 bomber, with an estimated loss of $1.4 US billion. It was also most expensive aircraft crash in history, but both crew members successfully ejected and as of 2021 another crash have been reported, which we will look into it in another video. The crash of a Spirit of Kansas which had been operated by the 393rd Bomber Squadron and which had logged 5,100 flight hours was the first ever crash of a B-2. The two officers' crew attempted to control the bomber but were unable to do so, and as one of its wingtips made contact with the ground, they ejected and survived the crash. According to the Air Force Times, which is a private industry magazine, no munitions were on board. The Air Combat Command Accident Board report states that classified material had been loaded under the bomber the morning the aircraft was returning to Whitman Air Force Base, after a four months deployment in support of Pacific Air Force's continuous bomber presence. At Guam Naval Hospital, one pilot was evaluated and released, and the second was hospitalized. The findings of the investigation stated that B-2 crashed after heavy lashing rains caused moisture to enter skin flush air data sensors. The data from the sensors are used to calculate numerous factors, including airspeed and altitude. Because three pressure transcenders failed to function are attributable to condensation inside devices, not a maintenance error. The flight control computers calculated inaccurate aircraft angle of attack and airspeed. The combination of a slow lift of speed and the extreme angle of attack with attendant drag resulted in a non-recoverable stall, yaw and descend. Both crew members successfully ejected from the aircraft soon after the left wing tip started to hit the ground alongside the runway. The aircraft hit the ground, tumbled and burned after its fuel ignited. However so, the classified material still remains classified could be the crash the result of that unknown material and all these explanations be a cover-up for government secrets, in my opinion it could not be, because if it were so we wouldn't even know about the classified material part, but the chances are it is a cover-up. We will be going into details for more expensive aircrafts ever made and make another video about the newly crashed B2, so join our channel if you like and stay notified for more videos.